Hello, this is Wolfram Müller from Wisdom Speaking. Um, this is a small update for the Critical Chain Project Planning and Execution Excel um, released, I think, three months ago. Um, somehow 10 to 15, uh, something around that, projects were already managed uh, with this Excel. So there were some requests um, out of the practice um, and they were included in this release. Um, in short, this is somehow a small marker to reset the project. It's a possibility to structure some tasks. Um, the feeding chains were including, uh, feeding chain buffers were included, and somehow an information about contractual milestones, how much uh, virtual buffer is left. And uh, I don't like this feature, but there's already or also a contractual milestone feature with fixed features. Uh, to fix really an end date of a non-critical chain task. So um, this is uh, all about the new features and I just want to show it. So the first thing is um, resetting a project. Typically you work with a plan somehow and then you um, already have some points in the fever curve and uh, you have a buffer start and uh, sometimes you change the plan and you really want to reset the project. You can reset the buffer any time just deleting the buffer start then it's reset uh, to one third of the project length but if you really want to reset everything um, just go to the development tools uh, open the macro and um, just uh, open the reset uh, project stuff and then the, the macro asks you whether you're sure and then everything is reset um, the start buffer is uh, deleted and the fever curve data is all gone so your plane um, completely new everything is erased so that's the first first step um, done okay um, the next thing is structuring with summary tasks and sub projects I'm not so big friend of this because if you have the tendency to structure a project, maybe the project plan is too big, but sometimes it's necessary. For example, um, if you want to um, make it more detailed, this um, task number 20, maybe you want to name um, the functions you, you want to program or something like that. So you can just add lines, it's very simple. Um, function function A, function B, so that's it. And um, you can uh, state that this is um, um, summary task um, and then all the tasks below the summary task will be regarded as one and shown in the, in the diagram. Um, so, and now you see something else that's new in the 0 0.21, uh, 0.28. Uh, you have a lot of um, sanity checks in. So if you do it like this, that's a, it's a original starting point, then he will tell you a lot of stuff you also have to change. For example, uh, the summary task um, is not allowed to have a predecessor. Um, that's a little different behavior than in MEMIS project. But um, um, the summary task and the structuring is just for structuring and has no functional um, impact on the plan. So um, it's just a summary task. He is not allowed to have a predecessor, but function A just can be started if 10 is ready. And uh, oh, that's interesting. We forgot to, to number these. So 10 has to be ready to. Uh, to do 21 and of course um, 21 is allowed uh, to start when function A is ready. But it's not all. Huh? So um, summary tasks are not allowed um, to have a work package ID either. So this completely makes sure that no other work package is referencing on this. And if you update the plan you will see in line 6 um, there is um, a 20 so it's a bad reference it's not allowed at all so what's next um, plan duration 
is below one day in line six. Okay, that's clear. Huh? Uh, we just forgot to um, estimate um, the durations and I think you already see it. Um, um, a summary task is not allowed to have a planning plan duration at all. So he will um, give some more hints. Um, here's the um, predecessor missing. That was a different mistake, but it should not be allowed that a summary task has a duration. Oh, I have to fix that. But that's the quick fix. So, um, what's happening? Um, the summary task is just for structuring, so it has no function. The only function it has is that it makes, uh, it gives you information about um, the start and the end of the work packages below. And the second function he has, it shows in the project plan um, a, a, a black bar, so you can see what's below that. Uh, and there's uh, one small problem. Um, if you um, want to end this um, at a special row, uh, you have to use a milestone. So programming ended. That's a milestone. And he has the predecessor. And now everything is clear. A milestone does not need a duration. And now it should work. So, and now you see that this current start is simply um, the minimum of the two uh, work packages below. It's a maximum, so it's just for information. And with a milestone, you see this um, sub the summary task just sums up the two um, work packages below, and there's at the end a milestone. So that summary tasks, um, there's also sub projects. Um, so summary tasks can be nested within sub projects. Um, Yes, but I don't show this feature here right now. So that's um, the next thing, um, structuring with subtasks or summary tasks and subprojects. Um, yeah, I don't like this because if you really want uh, to have a manageable project plan, reduce the number of tasks to a minimum. Um, yes, and structuring via this is typically a sign for a too complex project. So, but there are some other things I don't like, but in practice they occur. So here we have a, a work package that's called uh, having a party, and party needs that everything is accomplished. So all the end-to-end -end tests are finished, um, but a party without eat and drink is not fun at all. So uh, buy some drinks and something to eat is a good idea. Um, it, it needs a number, of course, maybe 90, because it's very late in the project. Um, and um, of course, the party can't start with this. So I hope I have did everything right. OK, estimation. I need a day for buying something, no, not more. So if I update the plan, everything's working, hopefully. Oh, missing a predecessor in line 12. Yes, of course. Huh? Um, when, when it's possible to start buying, of course, I can buy whenever I want. Um, I can buy now the eat and drink. Maybe not the eating, but the drinking is possible. So fine with it. Um, a new project plan and you already see um, it's its critical chain and if the end of the project is the party then uh, its latest possible start 
So um, buying, eat and drink will determine one day before party. That is fair, but uh, maybe it's tricky because if uh, something goes wrong at the end of the day, uh, on the last day, and we, you did not buy anything, um, then you can have a party but without any drinks. So, and this is definitely no fun. So maybe um, you just want to add an additional feeding chain buffer. Um, you just can say, okay, five days before um, the latest possible start, just go on and buy something uh, to eat and drink. And you will see the end date in the plan is already determined a little earlier. And in the project plan, you will see that it's, it's determined five days before um, the latest possible start. And because we are working here all with uh, working days, um, it's, it's completely a week before. So that's it. Um, uh, what's, what's also new? So that's feeding chain buffer. It's not very handy and it's not very easy to use. You have to think a little and uh, don't use it too often. But if it's necessary, it's possible. So in the last part are the contractual milestones. Um, also very tricky. Oh, what you already see is um, if, a, if a work package is ready to start, um, it will be shown as yellow here in the list. Just to give you a hint. And sometimes you have due dates. Um, external due dates you have to meet. Um, in this case, just Im uh, imaginary, um, every month, uh, every first Monday in the month, it's allowed um, to book a room. Maybe you have such artificial rooms in your company too. And uh, that has to be um, reflected in the project plan. So um, maybe it's not a month earlier, but every Monday you are allowed to um, do the booking. And um, in this case, if you need a room on the 27th, because that's a planned end date, um, it must be something on the 23rd um, of July. So, and, and you normally it should work, huh? no problem with it. Huh? Um, uh, it should be the project plan should be executed earlier, so no problem. But you need this uh, get the uh, the booking of the room, and this also has to start. You can do it at any time, um, and it's necessary for have the party. So that's it. Um, and it's also, it's just a day, so it's, it's not a big thing. Um, okay, and you already know what will happen. So, um, it, it is planned at the last day before the party. Hmm. Okay, so now you have two options. Um, first of all, you're not very interested in uh, where this package is really located. So you can uh, do it like this. The last Monday is on the 23rd of July. So you just can enter here um, a, a date when it should be finished. And if you update the plan, the work package is located in the plan at the latest possible start, but you will get an information for this work package um, how much buffer is left from the actual plan, so the, the, the contra uh, compressed plan. Um, it will end on the uh, 11th of July. And if you have to read the 23rd of July, then um, you have nine days left of a so-called virtual buffer or, or something like that. So, and if you do execution management 
And if you start uh, with the word packages and maybe it takes a little longer, um, then you will see that this um, um, milestone buffer um, will um, you know, uh, this diminish or getting shorter. And some point in time, you really do not like this either because you, you're, you're, it's not a good idea to start earlier with the planning. Um, this happens sometimes in software development if you have to meet a release date or, or integration date or something like that. And then external, it's always external. So in this very seldom case, the information is not enough. In this case, you really want that the work packages are not planned behind this contractual milestone, but really in advance. So in this case, it is a fixed uh, contractual milestone, so you just can write a fix on it. And uh, currently you see the planning is on the 26th of, um, of July, and if you update the plan, um, it will be placed on the 23rd, I think, something around that, because it's just a one-day task. And in that case, even in the project plan, um, this work packages is moved before the real fixed date. And if it's a two days uh, work package, you will see it will start on Friday. Just have to, tr uh, I just want to try it, just to make it visible. So, yes, and if the Excel works right, perfect. Uh, it's a two day and it's a weekend in between. That's it. So, that are the new features. Um, nothing critical, um, but it's possible to reset, to structure, to manage feeding buffers, contractual milestone per information or fixed. So, and now I think um, you can really do everything critical chain needs um, to manage a good project. That's it from my side. I hope you enjoy working with the Excel. Um, in any case, uh, give me feedback, report bugs, and I will integrate them as soon as possible. Um, yes, yeah, thank you for watching this screencast and see you in a few weeks when the next version is out. Bye bye.